Wow. 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 Hey guys, it's me, Old School Fluffy. So, I'll get this thing off my chest. Like, literally off my chest. Because how do I mention this show before? Well, just for a matter of fact, this show is literally not good at all. It's not good. It's not good for others. So it's not good for anyone. And besides, though, who the hell remembers this show? Well, when I was a kid, I kind of like bought my rock, Rocky Bullwinkle, because, uh, you know, everything. And, um, so, apparently, uh, I mean, like, literally, I never, ever reviewed a show. Never. This is my first review. Sorry. It's my first, it's my first review that I probably talk about this show a lot. Like, really a lot. So... I guess the show is really good for kids for under age, but to me though, I don't find it. I don't find it. I don't find it really, really good, but really bad. So, besides though, here's here's a runner up. I watched a show about a minute ago. Not a minute ago, like probably last year or so. Not last year, or like probably a month ago. Right after I just randomly just watched it. And, um, it was, like, aired in, um, it was aired on Netflix, because, really, though, I can't even remember the show anymore, because I can't speak right now, because the show is really speechless to me, Pfft, no pun intended, and, um, oh my god, how would a show ever exist? Like, come on, I know how Rocky and Bornicle got famous off it because in the, the, the old TV show they have they had and a movie a adaptation that was really awesome and um I really I really don't care about the CGI anime film called Mr. Peabody Sherman by the same name but um how do I get it though how do I make this thing as a apparently a no good Ripoff of Teen, Teen Titans Go. Besides, big heads, little bodies, no idea whatsoever, and a bad pun for no other reason. But I like the old pun from Mr. Peabody in um, 1960s or something of the Miss Peter Sherman diversional. And I liked all the segments inside the show because, um, how do I even, how do I even get this far? Like, I never reviewed it. Never, ever reviewed this stuff. And besides, it was like in my top 10, not in my top 10, like in some other ways that like, I can make a top 10 video about this. So, could probably do this already, so. I put this in my top 10, like, top 10 worst anime shows ever on Netflix that I watched. And, um, for speaking of it, I recommend you do not watch this show. Stay off it. If you like Rocky Bullwinkle, stay, stay on, stay on the topic. But I'm going to talk to you more about this. If you want to know about every, every facts about it, I probably know how, but I probably will be. Nothing about it too. And, um... And uh, sorry. And um, probably though, this um, this show, I guess, is called Mr. Peabody German Show. It's not other than the other shows. Can it can't be? So, as as I said before, this show is not good. So it's bad. It's the worst. Is the garbage. So, as as Raymond as Raymond would put it. That this show was garbage. So, um, I'm sorry about not doing a 
music review, but I'm actually doing a, a crossover, kind of, because I'm actually doing this review, and actually another, the next review of it, and, um, what can I say, that, um, this show is, like, apparently a ripoff from the other, the other show that, that I watch, but it's actually not good at all. That I mentioned that I mentioned before, and um, how can I say that about the show? Like, really, I have no words for saying it. It's like putting another anime show inside of it. And besides though, and besides though, if you if you like if animators want a TV show, just put a real life version, not a kitty version of this. Besides, and make a mockery of all history. Like when, um, hell, I don't know. Like, I don't know how, um, the, pi the pi pianist had to be so humor to all the kids and not to any adults. I'm just saying, I'm just saying that the show is not other, not, uh, not, not other than a ripoff. <laughs> like I gotta say, I'm not, it's a ripoff. My god. It's an actual ripoff. No kidding. An actual ripoff from every TV show that have been alive. And like, come on. Damn different segments? Like, come on. No, I, I like the whole, I like the whole, the old segments. The old segments from Rocky Bronco show. And, you know, I'm a fan of Rocky Bronco. I'm a really big fan. I cannot tell any, I, can, I cannot tell any, any lie about it. I am biggest fan of Rocky Bullwinkle, but if they if they made an actual TV show, I, I would watch it. But <laughs> Mr. Peabody Sherman show. Oh my God, it's the actually the worst show ever. Well, despite despite the my honestly, that um, how can I say this show? This show is not. It's not a good, it's not a good show at all, because I watched it once, like, I watched many episodes of many seasons, up to one and two, not to three, not to three, because you know why? It's making a mockery of all history to make children all dumb around the whole world. And whatever, though, I, I promisely don't want to watch a new, a new episode by them. But I actually watched the old episode by them, the new segments, every time they had to be another, another ripoff, another segments, I guess. But, you know, like, come on, really? A time travel in the middle of another one, and another time travel to another one, to, to interrupt this one called Sherman's Corner. Who the hell made that? Who the hell made that stuff? Like, come on, man. Sherman's Corner. <laughs> you gotta be a serious joke right now. TV. You gotta be a serious joke right now. Netflix. My god. I mean, DreamWorks. Whoever ever made this show. Oh, come on, DreamWorks. Come on, dude. If you want an actual, an actual thing of DreamWorks, just go to another anime show that cannot be worst. But this is the worst of the bottom list of home the movie, and home, the TV show. This is like, the hell though, the actual hell. This is like, a bit to my stomach right here. Like, every time I talk about this, talk about this show, it made me feel my stomach right now, about to puke and barf about this show. And like, and, and bef uh, like before I said, I never actually watched the whole episode of it. I actually did though, but usually, but usually, though, it's really not that great at all. Because the music wasn't even pff, barely re recognizable. The the segments are not even great at all. And the characters? <laughs> oh my god. The characters are lame, boring, and la laziest characters. I ever seen in my life. Even though they're deep songs, if you look, if you like to look them up on YouTube, 
it's not that great at all. Cause um, you know why? Cause um, that every segment had to be another another point of me talk about this show a lot. So um, okay, what can I say? And like the characters of Lane, and also the um, the time travel. I like, I like the whole the Wayback Machine. I like the Wayback Machine from the old episode. Episodes. And the new one, Wayback Machine. Oh my god. How is this... How is this a Wayback Machine? I mean, my god. If we want to make a Wayback Machine, just actually have an old Wayback Machine from 1960 or 1970 with that show made up. And take it from from there and make it another real life show. And what the hell? The characters, I mean the audience from the TV show are actually like the other one from Olive and and the Red Nose Reindeer. Sentence. It's like the movie outfit out of nowhere. It's like go on by review on Christmas Day. So, um and the fifth one is that I really don't care about history, but I really do care. I really, care. I really care about history at, at, at much, though. But this history, this time history thing, is really not that great. Not that great at all. If I say if I say it's great, I was sarcastic. I mean, I say like I can't believe the show is not even canceled for all that. Cause I wish the show would be cancelled and not not even reviewed by Netflix ever again. Because I watched it from Netflix. I don't know why, because I wanted to review review it every time I watched this. Oh god. So boring. I can't believe I watched it. I watched all episodes. All in two seasons. And not even third. The hell? <laughs> It is to get lazy after a minute, and like, who the hell made the cast out of nowhere? Like, who the hell remembers that the the one black chick who sings a lot? Who remembers that? Like who? Um, not me. <laughs> I don't remember that chick at all. So, to my perspective, I give this show. A one dog shit out of five because the hell is this bullshit? What the hell? So, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. And remember, I doing it old school. And remember, if you watch a show, please stay away from it. It's garbage from the dumpster. Bye.